The Terrace Angler College has students and staff lead the Angelus each day and is assisting them with the development of a fuller relationship with God and to live a better life through prayer. My class and I, we stand up when the bells go, put our heads down, put our hands together and and we put a, close our eyes and then we pick our leader from our class and we start praying. So my school, just before lunch, we have a bell that goes off through the PA system. It goes through all the classrooms and we pray, pray it as a group and there's someone leading us over the PA system. I have learnt from praying the Angelus that Mary said yes, that she will have the special baby Jesus. I've learned a lot about Mary through praying the Angelus. At first it was through staff formation that I learned about the history of the Angelus and where the prayer actually came from. But then looking at the story of the Angelus itself when the angel Gabriel visited Mary and how Mary's commitment and her faith in God was so strong that it's something that I believe we should follow as well and that her as an example has allowed me in my own life to have that faith and that trust in God, that willingness that she had without any hesitation at all. Yes, she was afraid, but she had that trust that we should all have in our lives as well. At first, I guess I was a bit um, worried about how it was going to impact on the teaching and the learning with the time being taken from class, but um, I definitely think that it's brought the school together as a community when we pray it, um, and that it, it honestly does um, give you the time to reflect on the, the real meaning of why we're here and, and how we can actually uh, live through the faith and that it should be something that we do stop to, you know, think about one time every day. The children are now making that connection between prayer and scripture. We, we finished praying the, uh, praying the Angelus one day, one of the kindergartens looked up and they said, oh, the angel of the Lord, that's Gabriel, who came and told Mary that she was going to have baby Jesus. And that was a really special moment for my colleague and I to see, see them make that connection. Praying the Angelus has changed the way I've prayed in my daily life. It's made a greater commitment that I need to make an active communication with God every day. The other day we had someone from an outside organisation come to interview one of our kindergarten students who is going through a particularly hard time at the moment. And during the interview, he, he stopped. The bells went at 12 o'clock and he said to the lady, we need to stop and she was a little bit shocked and didn't know what was going on. He said we need to stop and we need to stand and then he proceeded to recite the Angelus and she was just so moved by this experience to see a young child um, who's having such difficulty in his life to, to be praying this prayer that was clearly very meaningful to him and she came to me later and told me how moved she was. So the impact not just on our immediate community but those in the wider community who don't have these experiences that we have in, a, in experiencing our faith. I feel that the Angelus has really impacted the prayer life at our school. It's brought us closer together with Jesus and Mary and it's given us more opportunities to pray and pray together. The students, when they walk past or are walking and they hear the bells, they stop. It doesn't matter if they're playing sport. It doesn't matter if they are doing an errand for a teacher. I would often see students who would just stop and pray at that moment and just receive God's mercy. And I think that's a beauty of this prayer. Praying the Angelus is, at school is a tradition that our students will hold on to for many years after their schooling and I think they'll appreciate the opportunity to be able to express their faith on a daily basis with their peers and hopefully pass that tradition on to, to their families as well. <laughs>